Yeah, I don't really have a conviction. I have a question. Okay. Now you were telling the other man that if he can... What about women who are married to those ones that, that are not that learned? Does she want it's a learned guy? It's for a man to walk out. You understand? It's just for a man to walk out of the marriage. He can easily get somebody new. But a woman, it's difficult. You understand? You're already married. Do you want him to stay? You're really trying to help him out, but... When you have a little misunderstanding, it's like, okay, because you're more learned than I do. So you think, uh, talk to me anyhow, you can do me what you like, okay, because you're more learned than I do. So what do we do? No, no, no. So you must find something to do. So in that situation where the man called, huh, would you ask yeah. the man to stay knowing that he gets, you know, he gets angry or he gets displeased or frustrated just because he tries to have a conversation with her and she's not intelligent enough. Would you ask him to Joy, stay please in that Please understand union? me. Now, he's saying that, okay, he cannot put up with woman. He doesn't know how long he's going to teach her to understand. Yeah. If he walks out of it now, tomorrow, a month, a week's time, he can get somebody new. Yeah. Are you feeling me? I do. But for a woman, okay, let's assume I want to walk out now. So how long do you think it's going to take me to get somebody again? Well, I don't know that you need yeah. somebody that much as, much as much as you need yourself. Like, society is so warped. So you're talking about needing somebody, but maybe you need yourself first. So that's why I'm asking you, huh? Assuming you were the woman in that situation and the man who's living or the man you're living with or the, the man who's living with you does not yeah. respect you, doesn't like you, and because you're not intelligent, he gets frustrated. What would you do? I'll feel bad. And then? You understand. I'll feel bad. But this, what are we in my own situation now? My man is not that learned. And I'm a little bit learned than he is. It's not as if I'm well educated. Yeah. But whenever we have a little misunderstanding, it's like, okay, because you're learned than I do. So you think you can talk down on me. And you try to come down to his level. But it's like, it's a problem. Every now and then, okay, you're better than I do. And so, all that. so you're giving me two scenarios. Are we talking about that scenario? Are we talking about your scenario now? Should we talk about yours? Okay, let me talk about my scenario. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. I'm like, okay, I'm more learned, like I said earlier, I'm more learned than he is. And he's not. And he's not. And but he's I not receptive. I don't understand before I got into the marriage. Okay. But I'm trying to come down to his level. Yeah. But whenever he has this provocation, it's like, okay, you are learned than I do. So you think I talk down on me. Do you talk and down I feel on him? Bad. Do you, wait. So, so before, so that feel bad, let's analyze it. Because there is, you honestly feel bad out of guilt of something you did, or there is somebody I'm trying to make you. Maybe I talk. Well, you have to be where so I talk hold on. to him all the time. Yeah, so there is, you feel guilt because, yes, indeed, you're guilty because of the manner you spoke, or somebody is trying to make you feel guilty. Two different things. I'm feeling guilty. I'm the one feeling guilty so, because whenever it's like. Are you wrong uh -huh. in your approach? Then if you're wrong in your approach, then you fix it. So can you answer to the me, question? To me, I don't see that I'm wrong, but to him, it's like, what is particular about is that, okay, you're learning than I do. So you think everything you say or everything you do is right, or everything you say must go down oh yeah wait so you change your approach how about that because this is you assuming that you are the one with the intellectual upper hand yeah so this method is not working then you try another method the reason i'm asking you to try another method is so that we can establish that the man is not deliberately choosing to be arrogant and because his culture told him that he's a man he just wants you to shut up you and your masters so you try another approach. You say, well, so, honey, there's a problem. If we do it like this, this is the consequence, or this is the outcome. That is your, oh, your Vasabi housewife. Now you think you know it all, right? You're the almighty. Then you got a problem. You think you, you know married. everything. Yeah, then so two things. You stay or you leave. That's the truth. You, you tolerate it or you leave. That's what I'm saying. It's not easy for a woman to just pack and leave. Wait. When you say... for a man, you know, because in the next week, a month, you get someone new. Honey. But what's about a woman? Okay. So let's talk about leaving. When you say leave... And let's talking about age here. Age is not telling on you. So how do you know you're going to get somebody in the next two weeks or in the next one who is ready for marriage? So first of all, the way you are thinking, you sound like you're depending on a man. First, let's get I'm that not, straight. Well, I'm so why, on my why then why are you saying, well, if you leave, it's going to take you a while to get a man? Who says you need a man? And who says you're not going to get a man right outside your door? Who says that there's, that, the, that there's a neighbor on you? That same street that has been seeing you and thinks, well, oh, I like that woman. Oh, but she's married. Okay, I'll just mind my business and face front. <laughs> why are you laughing? Let's talk. You want to talk? Let's do no, that. Actually, I do get these compliments every now and so then. So good. You so then are we working on the do? marriage or we're leaving? Because the truth is, if you're leaving, you're the one who's thinking it's hard. The day you want to leave, you realize it's not hard. Women have left. Are they dead? No. 
So it's your fear. You're going to determine whether it's easy to leave or it's not. If you want, if you really want, if fire was burning, would you wonder how fast you can run? You're going to try to run no matter how fast you're going to try, isn't it? So you sit down there and you create images that put little hindrances all around your head. If it's easy for the man to leave, why isn't it easy for you to leave? He thinks it's either the man thinks, well, it's easy for him. How come it's, it's not easier for you? Don't do that on my show, child. Don't don't do that on my show. Don't tell me anything about society. You are society. You can barely think your way through. What's what's society? What what's my business with whether you're married or you're single? You think They're I care? How your life is supposed to be wrong? You're supposed to so be that's married, you. whether good or bad. So that's you. You're listening to nonsense, and you can't even separate the truth from nonsense. So there you are suffering. You're calling my show. You can't even straighten yes, your really? argument. Really, yes. if you ask me, I'm yes. fed up. I'm oh. fed up. You understand? I'm fed up. Well, so let him know that you're fed up. That's a conversation you must have. If you're fed up, honey, look, I'm tired of this marriage. He's going to say why. And so now men are calling you, Abby. You this woman, you're a prostitute. <laughs> That's you what it leave. says. Okay, it's okay. You think somewhere better off than it's I am, okay. right? You it's think okay. You want to go, okay? One you want minute. to leave me, okay? Now, what someone thinks is not your business. If you're fed up, Bia Samson, God bless you. The day we married, I really thought this was going to be heaven on earth, but it's not. I'm fed up. I want to give this the last fighting chance. And then you're going to try to save the marriage. And hopefully he wants the marriage as bad as you do. Then if he don't want the marriage, then you can say we can separate. It doesn't have to be messy. What's the plan? You can go. Go meet Chiamaka two streets away, wherever. You don't care. But you're still afraid, so you can't think. You care what society says. Well, you're bothered about your religion. You're bothered about everything else but what the facts of the matter is. And if the facts are what they are, then you address the facts of the issue. And then what your father thinks would barely count because you are miserable and it's your life. And one of the responsibilities of being given life is that you defend your life and make something meaningful out of it. And if someone is going to be a burden to bear for the rest of your days, you choose to bear the burden or you choose to not bear that type of burden. It's a choice you make. What someone says, what does that even mean, what they say? People have been saying stuff. Like, you have to imagine the world. If people said... So, the world would have been better if people said the truth and acted rightly. So if the world is what it is, then people just say stuff and half of what they say is nonsense, if not all of what they say is nonsense.